YouTube, it's your boy Fish and Ken Hook City TV. You see who I got with me? Cowboy Roy. Hey man, listen, we got the motorcycles out. <laughs> it's about <laughs> to go <laughs> down. Hey man, service announcement. Pick your trash up, y'all. Pick your trash up. I'm gonna grab this when I get ready to leave, but dang. Come on, man, we can do better for the environment. Y'all see what we're doing? It's about to go down. Cowboy, you sure. got your, you got your waders on, your baby bike. Hey, I, I I got I'm strapped and ready to go for anything in the water besides Ken and I. Right on. <laughs> right on. So listen, man, we we're gonna we're gonna get this thing started, man. We got a little ride to do. We're gonna get down in here, man. They cluck got the gates closed, so we got a little riding to do. Boy, let me tell you something. If we don't get our old out of shape butt somewhere and sit down, yeah. nah, we need to get active. That was rough. That was real rough, if I can be honest. Too rough. Rougher than it should have been. At 40 and what, 46? 47, man. 40, God, dog. I'm almost 50 years old. God, dog. <laughs> 40 and 47. Uh, boy, I got some old friends, boy. But God be the glory, we're still here. But yeah, we need to change that. I need to get active. Anyway, we're here, man. We made it to the creek. We got work to do. So guys, anytime I go on this, uh, these types of little adventures, it's kind of hard for me, man, because I keep so much stuff in the, in the boat. And everything is boat ready. But um, one of the rods I keep with me is this right here. Green series, rear seat, 10 foot rod. It's light, gives me enough reach with the uh, real seat being at the very back. Um, and anything that I can't reach, we have six foot one piece with a cork on it. So that lets me pretty much do whatever it is I need to do. Um, haven't used this rod in a while again because we're always in the boat but uh, we're gonna string this up and i actually made some uh hand tie jigs the other day man just messing around saw the old vice decided to uh get that together so we're gonna be putting on one of my hook city hand ties here in one second if i need to go to plastics y'all know i got plenty of brush pile jigs um ACC crappie sticks heads hopefully these fish are shallow guys it's it's April we've had a string of good days weather wise no rain warm weather so I'm expecting the uh, water temps to be anywhere from about 65 all the way up to possibly 70. Whew, I'm tired this is what I did man I, I already gave cowboy Roy one Put one on myself. Uh, that ain't the one I want to show you. Show you, this. show you this one. Bam. So we're gonna go with. It. See what these fish want to do. Using just a little simple uh, loop knot to get this on here. We're gonna get in the water and see what these fish want to do for us. Bam, cut the tag. I don't know how deep this is. I really want to be on this outside, mm -hmm. poking in. Yeah, me too. It's, it's, it's deep. It's deep pretty quick. Yeah, I think it's one little lip, and then I think you, I think you somewhat clear. 
I think. It ain't bad right here. It's soft though. When I tell you that's plenty of water, God. That's plenty of water right here. For a fish to be in. Yeah. It's decently solid. Your scary butt ain't gonna do it. <laughs> so when you step bro you're not taking walking steps you're shifting yeah that way you won't walk and you know you won't step down and to know you know touch it before you put your weight on it i don't walk fish on wishbone Oh, first fish, y'all. First fish. Mm -hmm. Right where I expected him to be. And, I, man, I kind of got caught off guard with it, to be honest. I was talking. Shoot. First fish, what's that, 10 minutes in? No, no, we've been here longer than 10 minutes. Well, 10 minutes in the waders. <clears throat> 10 minutes in the waders, and he showed his shell. Let's see if there's another one in there. He really didn't thump it either, bro. He was just kind of holding it like wanting. So this is the first time I've ever been in the water. Is it really, bro? Mm -hmm. That's what's up, man. Here, let me see. I hate to be like right all up on you, but. Nah, you good, bro. That, that's me. how we need to be, yeah. shoot. Yeah, I can, like I say, I, water. it's pressurizing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, coming, it's pressuring you up. So we'll work, what we'll do, just imagine about a, about a two or three foot layer. That was another bite. All the way across and we just gonna fish it all the way across until we are not getting anything else. Then we'll take two or three steps up and do it all over again. Bro, this is perfect. I knew it was gonna be a fish in there, but it need to be Mophie. Mm -hmm. I know it is. God, that was him again. I don't, it, I don't like the way, but it's just a doop to doop and then he holds it. Mm -hmm. If it ain't too shallow, work in there, bro. If you want, I will. Yeah, there go a gar. That's See him? Mm -hmm. He kind of... Reflections. He just went this way. Well, wait till you have one of them swim past your legs. <laughs> them mud don't lock. Nah, he ain't gonna bite you. Yeah. But that mud will smooth, goddamn. <laughs> He'll do it. I will crap myself. Bro, bro, I was on Arlington. <laughs> listen to me. I was on Arlington by myself. Mm -hmm. I was on in the peninsula. The back side of the peninsula. I was on the back side of the peninsula. Wading. Wading. Bro, I had one probably this long, bro. Mm -hmm. Swim. I mean, I looked down. I said, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. He ain't want nothing to do with me. But still was uncomfortable. I ain't even got no little tap. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, that ain't good. I need you to get tapped on. You got a dark color too? I got the exact same jig. Mm. I shouldn't have did that. I just wanted to catch one on my hand tie. Mm-hmm. You know how it is. Mm-hmm. I'm bushy shoulder is shaking for it to not be a lot of wind. Mm-hmm. Especially over here. Shoot. But it'll be it'll be sporadic though. This right here is just waves. This right here just waves. There you go. Fish number two. Come here, dear. He hooked good. All that all that yapping and slapping. Boy, did my tail come out? Now my tail's still on there. That fishing can hand tie, y'all see it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And I tell you what, the sensitivity of that, that 10 foot rear seat, boy. Mm -hmm. And it don't listen. These rear seats, man, they don't fatigue you. Yeah. They do not fatigue you. All right, little buddy, we appreciate you. Yeah, the deal is you. 
You don't have to let it sit there real long. Yeah. You know. He in there. I know he'll get it. Yeah, he don't want you in there with him. Did that one thump it or? Yeah, same thing, just more weight. Mm -hmm. You will know it. it. It's gonna feel like weight. Almost almost like you hung, mm -hmm. but no. You know what I'm saying? You know you're in a clear spot. It ain't no reason to be hung. All right, guys, here we are again, man. Listen, working through, working through this junk. I don't even know what you call that, man, but it's another fish. Got a mayfly on this. That's interesting. Got a mayfly on him. But look, got us another one, man. That's actually another keeper, man. What's that, three in the hand? Three. Three in, or two in the hand. One that I just played with and got off. I'm going to let him back in there so he can do his thing, man. Going on, boy. Boom, gone. Good fish, good fish. And this is one of the things I've always loved to do. Something I haven't always caught, captured on camera, but I've been doing this, man, since early teen years with my dad and my uncles. It's really serene, man. It, it takes me back. Takes me back. And all we're doing is giving it a slow and steady technique. Um, with this being the spawn, guys, it's not going to take long for these fish to decide that they want that bait moved out of their nesting site. So I'm not telling you to fish fast, but you, fit, you find your area, find your little spot in between some twigs, around some of these twigs, whatever it is. Sit it in there. Well, I, what I like to do is I dead stick it first. Cause I don't want to startle the fish. So I dead stick it first, give them a chance to see it. If there's no hits or anything within the first 10, 15 seconds, I'll twitch it once or twice, leave it there again. And that twitch is just to let that fish know, hey, I'm here, just in case he's turned the other way. Twitch it, let him know, hey, I'm here. Leave it there a couple of more seconds, if nothing. Pick it up out of there slowly, because sometimes on the rise, those fish will detect that, that bait. And I've actually had them come to the top in two foot of water, one foot of water, come actually up, up to the surface and snatch at a jig and go back down. So take your time this spring, slow and steady, only moving that jig maybe a couple of inches to a foot. I don't move it far, especially when I'm working a patch like I'm working right now. That's the one you want right there, buddy. That fish was mad at it. That fish was mad at it, Hoss. Yeah, that's a female in here with him. I mean, that fish put the thump on that stump. Let me tell you what, guys. That right there lets me know that we're further along in the spawn. So this is a female, if you can tell. This fish is not colored up at all. My anal fin is not dark, so sometimes you'll get those males who just aren't colored up yet, but their anal fins will have. But look, here's a little evidence right here. You can see a little bit, look at those eggs. Look at those eggs. That fish is almost actually done. That female is almost done, but I tell you what, she absolutely annihilated that jig, man. Those hand ties work, man. All jigs work in the spring. Kind of happy. It's always cool to watch your own jig work. Look at that fish, man. Beautiful. We're gonna just lay her in and let her go. Let's go, baby. And there's so much of this to fish all around the lake. Oh, I mean the whole. The whole lake, bro. Mm -hmm. We in the creek doing it, but it can be done everywhere. Bro, you're not gonna tell me I'm not finna find another crappie in here. It just looked too good to me. There he is. I knew it. 
I knew it. Yanni go. Man, look at that, man. Look at that. I knew it, man. So we ran out of a patch that D is fishing right now. So I decided just to come up here, seeing some of the similar things. Just wanted to make sure. I think what makes that patch over there unique is that it comes out in the water. So I looked down, down the creek a little bit. I saw more of it that kind of extends out into the creek a little bit. It's only two to three foot with some pretty decently hard bottom. It's probably just about an inch or so of mud. So it's really safe to wade in. Gotta be safe when you're doing this stuff, guys. That's another pretty fish, man. He gets to go back. Oh, man. That's hard to beat right there, y'all. Get out here and get you some of this. Make sure you get one of these ACC crappie sticks. Listen, you can find the rear seats in 10, 11. I think you can even find a 12. Um, and all of these are made for this shallow water jigging, man. I mean, this is home to these these rods right here, man. We're gonna keep on going. Whew. I'm telling you, man, it ain't nothing like seeking and finding. We're playing hide and seek with these crappie. Let's go, baby. Yanni, go. D trying to rush me out of the crappie hole. <laughs> Man, shoot. About like right here where I am. That's what I'm saying, it's still some stuff. And if, when I look further up there, there he is again. Y'all, I have done some messing up. That's where I was right there, bro. I have done some messing up, man. Number one, I forgot to charge the batteries. So I've had like three or four batteries with what, 65, 35, 25%. I'm gonna tell you what, man, I have paid the price. So we have missed two female crappie being caught. I pray that when I go back over this content, man, you can at least see the hook set that I just made on, on probably about a 12 and a half inch crappie, man, in the exact same spot twice. So, man, we're going to get back in here, see if we can get a few more fish catches. Listen, the spawn is definitely on. There's no doubt about it. I'm sure you've been seeing it all over um, YouTube. Spawn is on. No two ways about it. Me and D finally got a little time to get out here, man. We fished this same creek last year, had a real good time. Um, and we back on it again today, man. Listen, fellowshipping with my brother, having a great time out here in nature. And listen, he doing something new, y'all. In the comment section, my boy, first time <laughs> in his crappie waders. Now, yeah, you've been man. in waders, what, duck hunting? Yep. Uh, anything else? You've worn no, waders duck for? Hunting. So, duck hunting. So, he's been in water, a little bit of water, probably ankle deep, you know, That's, getting you know. to a spot. But now, yep. man, listen, he's been all the way to about, to about hip deep. So, Oh, ah. was it a thump? Yeah. Oh, uh, put it back in there. Put it back in there. Gonna annoy him a little bit. You might get him to come back. Mm, mm, mm. Man, we're gonna keep it, man. I'm proud of my boy, man. He... <laughs> Overcoming these gator fears and. Yeah, we ain't gonna tell him what's in your pocket. Yeah, no. <laughs> you got a little insurance program. He biting up biting. We say it get hot out here in the spring. But yeah, man, listen, two males out of the same spot. I wouldn't I wouldn't fish too fast, bro. I would actually back up. But uh yeah, we're gonna keep rocking, man. With with I got 28% battery left. Hopefully we can get one more solid fish catch for y'all. There he is again. See where I am, bro. I want mm -hmm. you to stick your jig in there, see if you get it, if we can get him to commit. Yeah, that's why I said I wouldn't overrun it. If it's two in there, I don't I don't fish fast no more. I give it a little time, make sure it ain't. Cause that male, he's back in there. Mm -hmm. That might just be him being ginger now. Like, nah, I better chill. Mm. Did he pop pop it? Tap, tap. Yeah. See that tap tap make you snatch hard, bro. I'm telling you. That tap tap make you snatch. 
them be the worst ones because you really don't set the hook hard on a hard hook set you just kind of match his energy That's cool. I seen, I actually seen him twitch that twig. I don't think this one will go 10, but come on, dude, don't listen. I know you like that Hook City G. You can't take that with you, man. I know you like that Hook City hand tie. Pretty fish though, man. I can't, I cannot deny it. Well, the whooping has begun, but we're not gonna talk about it because he knew to the, he knew to wade. Yep, sure so we're not gonna not gonna talk about it. Yeah, I remember a time Noah. What, what, yeah, what, I'll, I'll let I'll let I'll let memory stuff. Okay, bro, I'm a seasoned vet. I run fast and long. Look, and even if I don't, it ain't gonna be on video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you cut it all out. That little joker popped it too. But yeah, I seen that twig. Tw it twi It was sporadic. Mm -hmm. so yeah, let me go on over here and see what this is. So always go where you caught one. Always go back in there and make sure it ain't another one. Always. Even if it's just for a few seconds, you know. I would suggest you catch up with me, bro. Otherwise, you're just going to be fishing where I'm stepping. You know what I'm saying? And then take a step toward me. God dang! Ooh! Ooh! D. I saw the, I saw the rod, bro. Oh, my gosh. Mercy. <laughs> Boy, that, that's that spring, boy. That's that spring stuff. Oh, man. God, dog. Yes, sir, D. Mm -hmm. Remember what I told you to handle him? Yeah. Two ways. I see your old boy. Now, look, you better land that plane before he don't uh, count. Oh, you got a good hook in him. Got a good hook in him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, Cowboy Roy. Yeah, he high on him. Yes, sir. Pretty another fish, another man. keeper, man. Not not no giant keeper. Yeah. But listen, man. Good for anybody. Anybody can come out here and do this, y'all. There's no special electronics needed. No no tactics. Patience. A little bit of know-how. You got to know how to tie your jig up. You know things like that. Um. But man, this time of year, they they bite a variety of colors. Slow down. Find some structure. Stick it in there. And if they don't let you know that they're in there within 20, or sec 20 seconds or so, get out, move over a foot, do it all over again. That's yeah. all we're doing, guys. You don't need waders. All you need is a pair of shorts. For real? A pair of shorts. Honestly, I mean, now you might get a little scraped up with this stuff, but you know, it don't take much. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Just like that, we're done. I said I wasn't gonna say nothing about the count. Um, but I Listen, think he caught he caught more fish. It's than imperative me. that yeah. we just we talk about it. Yeah, um, it, it's imperative now. It's uh, imperative, okay, go ahead, bro. go ahead. The skill and technique that it's now. Nah, let me quit, man. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate you. appreciate my boy coming out here today with me, man. Had a great time putting on the waiters for the first time, bro. Yeah, man. Congratulations, man. Had an awesome time, guy. It's the middle of April. I've been telling people here in North Texas, man. We get to getting all excited when March comes around. And yes, there is some shallow fish. A lot of those fish are in wintering holes and wintering creeks. Um, but in, in North Texas, man, if you if you want a surefire bite, that thing is in the middle of April, man. Mm -hmm. Middle towards the end of April. Um, and those fish will be everywhere, banks everywhere. Um, and that's where we're coming into. Um, and I just had a little bit of time, got off of work, called my boy. Let's do some fellowship and then some fishing, and you saw what happened, man. Missed some catches today. I'm man, some upset. big fish, man. Kind of upset about that. We missed some really good catches on film, um, and they were females. Uh, mm -hmm. And the point that I wanted to drive home with seeing those females is, listen, if you're finding both males and females up shallow, that lets us know that we're not in the first stages of the spawn because what we know is the males come up first, mm -hmm. build their nests, do all that stuff, find a mate and then they're both up there 
um, and then for a while the female after she drops her eggs she'll stay for a while but then she pushes off and your male is the one that protects that nest um, until you know those fish mature enough to, to do their own thing the babies um, so we are a little further along than just beginning um, that is our first time being in waders this, yeah. this year um, and we were in the creek I believe you can find these fish on some main lake um, areas as well but we went into the grass in the creeks found what we were looking for hope this was informative man the main takeaway is get out there in those creeks in the shallows if you got hard bottom don't get in no muddy stuff yeah no you, know? you will sink you will sink man so um and take baby steps mm -hmm. don't be out there trying to take uh <laughs> giant steps otherwise you'll you be swimming you'll be swimming and that ain't a good <laughs> thing with waiters on but i hope y'all enjoyed this video man it's your boy, Fisher, boy. Got more, more.